What can I do to increase in favor with people? That's what we're talking about today. And you're watching Sitam Church Online. My name is George Murichu. In our past videos, we've talked about growing in favor with God. We've talked about growing in wisdom. Uh, we've also looked at growing in our physical stature. And all of those things are important. And of course, are the most important, the most significant is uh, growing in favor with God. Uh, the Bible says that Jesus not only grew in favor with God, but that he also grew in favor with people, in favor with man. This is found in the book of Luke, chapter 2, uh, verse 52. And what does that speak to us? It means that relationships are a big deal. It means that uh, God really values how we treat people. And of course, when taken to its extreme, uh, looking for favor with people can, can become an idol. It can become, you know, people pleasing. And God doesn't want us to uh, worship men and their approval of us. Because the psalmist said that uh, to place our trust in man is a snare. Cast is the man who places his trust in a man. So we do not want to go to that level of idolizing the approval of men. We remember that the ultimate thing is God's approval. But even as we think about God's approval, God uh, has an area for us to grow and this is the area of our relationships, how we relate with people. I'm calling this chemistry. What does your chemistry look like? What's your emotional intelligence look like? Uh, would you say that you relate well with others or are you an abrasive kind of person? At the workplace, what can be said about you? What would be written about you in uh, your eulogy? How would people eulogize you? in terms of how you interacted with others. Of course, during funerals, uh, there's a tendency to uh, whitewash whatever wrongs or flaws any man did. But I want us to think about our lives in this area of relationships. Uh, will, will it be said of us, as it was said of Christ, that he grew in favor with people? And uh, in the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 3 to 4, the Bible tells us how we can actually grow in favor with people. Uh, I mean, there are many bestsellers out there. There are many uh, books that break down this whole aspect. Uh, I'm thinking about how this has become such an area where people are, are seeking to to make sales, the area of how you can influence people. But the Bible speaks to us about how we can gain favor. And uh, it's found in the book of Proverbs chapter 3, verse 3 to 4. Let not steadfast love and faithfulness forsake you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart. So you will find favor and good success in the sight of God and man the promise there is remarkable the principle is that if we are steadfast people people who can be relied upon and steadfast in terms of our love if we are people who are faithful that speaks again of consistency that has an aspect of uh in contrast to fair weather friends we are friends who are present we are available for people uh the bible says that when we do this and when we bind them around our neck. In other words, this is something that is very evident. It's evident in our lives uh, that we will gain favor with God and we'll gain favor with man. We'll gain not only favor, but good success. I'm sure all of us watching this video would love to have good success and we would want to win at relationships. God wants us to win in that area as well. God wants us to connect and, 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 and to have favor with people. And the, uh, the, the way that's really commended to us is the way of steadfast love and faithfulness. Think about your friendship circle right now. Do you have a friend who you'd say, that's a friend who I can call in my, in my darkest hour. 
you know, in my time of trouble. That's a friend that guaranteed will come through for me. Do you have such a friend in your circle? Do you have a friend who you can rely on? Uh, whether you're, um, you're in the thick of things, they will come through for you or they'll do their best to come through for you? I guess the, the more important question is whether you and whether I am that kind of person, that kind of friend, a friend who's faithful, a friend who is steadfast in terms of his or her love, uh, not a fair-weather friend, obviously, a friend who is not temperamental, a friend who does not, um, does not reach out to you only in the good times, but when you're going through tough times, is nowhere to be found. I pray that we'll be able to grow in this area, uh, this learning curve, and that we will experience success, good success, and favor with people. That's what uh, chemistry is all about. That's what favor with men is all about. You've been watching Sitam Church Online. We would love to hear from you. What are your comments about this? Please, let's engage uh, around the social media platforms right at the bottom of the screen, and we will get back to you. Thank you for watching. God bless.